The function is a block of reusable code to perform specific tasks, and it's common to all programming languages. But defining functions in Python means knowing that there are two types of functions, built-in and user-defined. The built-in functions are usually part of Python packages and libraries, where yes, user-defined functions are written by the developer to meet certain requirements. And now we will start with the built-in functions. Actually, in my previous videos, I mentioned many built-in functions. For example, int, str, float, complex, and this built-in function do the same thing. And it's simple, no need for uh, explanation again. For example, int return uh, integer and str return string, and the same for float and complex. The type. Uh, check if the uh, the type of the fun uh, the of the object sorry and the lean return the number uh, the number of item in the iterable uh, object and in case we use the, the lean with string then I will get the number of characters also I mentioned in our um, in my previous uh, video the range but now range I I just mentioned without any explanation explanation and now I will explain it the range function returns sequence of numbers starting from 0 by default and the incre increment will be 1 by default also and I will stop before the specific number which uh, passed in the argument for example for x in range 5 so then print x here as you can see we, we started from 0 and we stop it before the specific number which is 5 and by default uh, the increment is 1 and the starting point is uh, 0 so if I want to uh, use to start from another point number and to increase by for example 2 I have to mention that for example for x in range I will start from 1 uh, then I will stop uh, with the number 10 so here I will use the number 11 because I will st uh, stop before the, sp uh, the mentioned number and now I need the increment 2 by 2 then here print x and as you can see we started with the number 1 and the increment 2 by 2 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 so this is the range function and how does it work and how can I configure its argument now I will move to another built-in function for example pool function The boolean function will return the boolean value of the specified object. For example, I will assign jabi tube to the variable x and I will use the pool function. Here I will get true. But if, if I use, for example, integer, then I will get also true actually with the pool function always I will get true except if the object is empty or false or equal to zero or none and none here means none type for example pool zero then false for example none then I will get false that's it it's easy now 
I will move to other function which is round The round function returns the floating point number that's rounded version of the specified number with the specified number of the decimal. For example, round, then I put <coughs> the floating point number which I need to round it. For example, 4.88888. Then the number of decimal which I need. For example, I need just to decimal then I will get 4.89 for example round 4.4888888 then I need just one decimal Then I will get 4.5. Actually, with the round number, the default value of the decimals is zero. For example, if I forget to write the number of decimals, then I will get integer number because the default decimals is zero, as you can see. For example, let make it for example seven. Then I will get five. And that's it for the round function. And now I will move to another built in function. The power function returns the value of x to the power of y. For example, assign the value 2 to the variable x and 4 to y then the power of x y then i will get 16 for example 6 then i will get 64 now we have also the hex function <coughs> the hex fun function converts the specified number into hexadecimal value hexadecimal value for example hexa 64 ah oh, sorry x not x uh, x then i will will get 0 x 4 0 actually the return the returned value will be string and always will start with the prefix 0 x for example x 55 as you can see the prefix 0x with the hexadecimal value also we have bin function which return the binary value of the specific number for example with the same one 55 then i will get a string with the value with the binary value of the value 15 also we will get the prefix 0p as you can see 0b and the binary value of 50 55 the same for the oct which means octal and we return string with 0 o and then the octal value for the for example 55 the same as you can see 0 0 then 67 and that's it for the built-in function actually there is another function which is format
The format function is used with a string data type and it formats specified value into specified format. For example, I can use it with simple string. For example, um, then curly bracket, which is the placeholder. So then dot format and the value which I want to pass it. For example, Javi. So I'm Javi. Also, I can use it with the value stored in a variable. For example, str, str dot format like this. Then the basset value, as you can see. Also, I can use multiple formatter. For example. the same sentence I like to play football so then str.format then the value the first one then the second football for example then I will get I'm Shabi I like to play football actually also I can format the string user using numeric constant for example the previous one um placeholder Result. <coughs> then str dot format. Then Javi. Then the number. And here I will get I'm Javi. I'm twenty six years old. But what if I switch between the first value and the second one? For example like this then I will get I'm um, 26 I'm um, Javi years old of course that's false actually <coughs> when I use empty placeholder then the bison will take care about the order so here what's happened the first value was sent it to the first placeholder and the second one sent it to the second so if I want to ignore the order I have to fill the placeholder with the position of the values for example with the previous one here if I want to put here the second value so here one and here sorry here one and here zero and that's because as you know we always starting from zero so let's see str dot format then 26 then shall as you can see now it's true and that's all about the format string now we will move to the second type of function which is user defined function so let's go ahead